Well, tonight the district is playing host to a celebration of art and dining. The annual Art All Night event aims to draw people to local art galleries. Tom Rousey is in Northwest along U Street, speaking to small business owners and visitors enjoying the celebration. The city says it wants to draw crowds to different parts of town as part of this event. Obviously, one of the purposes, since it's called Art All Night, is to showcase art, but it's also to help local small businesses. On U Street Saturday night, you could hear music or buy art from vendors lining the street. Also, restaurants like the iconic Ben's Chili Bowl plan to stay open into the early morning hours. And the hospitality industry as a whole relies on people coming into the city. So every opportunity to get people in and to brighten their day, we're excited to take it. This is called Our Lady of the Basement. DC artist Natalie Levy Costa says Art All Night is one of her best chances all year to sell her art. Towards the end of the year, I always know that in September I'll have Art All Night and then a couple months later in December I'll have the holiday rush. So typically that's like a, a huge time for me. But U Street is just one of about two dozen areas of the city that hosted Art All Night events either Friday or Saturday night. This is actually our first time ever having Art All Night on Georgia Avenue. Shelly Walker believes the lower Georgia Avenue event was a success. And we had a lot of more foot traffic in the small businesses along the corridor, so I definitely think it brought residents and other folks out. Times have been tough on many since COVID. The city says Art All Night and what's called Dine All Night also going on this weekend are meant to help. When we think of art, you think of the beauty of art, whether it's visual art, whether it's culinary art, whether it's performance art, but it's also a business. You know, art is the way they provide for their families, and so we want to combine art and commerce. The city says about 100,000 people participated in this event last year, and when you add up the crowds from both nights this year, they're expecting similar numbers. In Northwest Washington, Tom Rousey, 7 News.